Dear Reagan, in this first year of marriage, you have surprised me more times than I can count. Somehow, we ended up with two dogs and an amazing home. I vowed to go along with your crazy ideas, and I have no idea what you can come up with, but I know I want to be with you through them all. James, today is finally the celebration of our dreams. The grand wedding we've been waiting on for many years has come. This past year of marriage has taught me many things. For starters, you were born to be a dog dad. We eat five guys way too much. And finally, the vows I made to you one year ago were not grand enough. A year ago, I promised to cherish the good times and comfort you through the bad. Going into marriage, I never thought our biggest fights would pertain to Star Wars. Although we have differing opinions, we stayed strong through it all. We have proven, in fact, that this is the way. You pushed me to be a better man and to, and to learn more about Star Wars. You inspire me with your kindness and your knowledge of Friends trivia. So I vow to make you laugh and to tell you how much you mean to me. Reagan is my best friend, and I am so happy that I get to share her with James. James, you're one of a kind and one of the most kindest, most patient people I know. And getting to know you has been really special. You and Reagan complement each other in so many ways and really, truly bring out the best qualities of one another. Let your marriage invest in everybody around you. As you grow deeper in love with each other, out of the love of Christ, you will be amazed at the number of marriages you will touch. You'll be amazed at the number of lives you will touch. You will be a rock for many people in this room because of the way that you love each other. So I charge you, don't leave your marriage to yourself. Invest it. Invest it in your family and friends. And 50 years from now, the greatest gift, you will look back and see all the lives that your marriage changed. I know as time goes on, they will continue building on this relationship and in their marriage. We are so excited to see where life continues to go for you both and just how much Star Wars you can incorporate into your future. Not only do I promise to treat you with respect and honor, I now promise to ensure you treat yourself with the respect and honor you deserve. You don't see yourself the way others and I do, but you're a gift and you should be treated as such. I can't wait to build a house with you, to start a family with you, to teach our kids about the Jedi cult, and to one day own all the Border Collies. But most importantly, I can't wait to build a future with you. One filled with enough love to leave an impression on all those we encounter. I vow to always respect you and treat you how you deserve to be treated. You always keep me on my toes and remind me of where my phone is. I will work by your side to create a wonderful life together. As said in Star Wars, the Force will be with you always. Just like this quote, no matter what, I will be with you always.